My name is Amity Gilmore. 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 My name is Amity Gilmore, and this is my life. <sighs> I might need to go to the hospital, which sucks. <coughs> it's seven o'clock, and. I'm vomiting. This is my stomach after a big day. What do we call it is? Eduardo. Eduardo. I have a condition by the name of gastroparesis, which is the partial paralyzing of the stomach or slow motility of the stomach. And in some cases, it's also the intestines. That's my case as well, unfortunately. Symptoms include vomiting, bloating, pain, loss of appetite, getting full easier, and along with a whole host of other symptoms. I'm finding it hard to sleep, and it's not not to do with the, the gastroparesis or anything. I don't think it's more. I, I think it's more emotional. Um, I emotionally am distracting myself from sleep. Because I'm so stressed. I first experienced gastroparesis in 2019 June when I was on a camp. It was there for one night and then it kind of went away. I didn't have any issues until the lead up to Christmas and then New Year's Eve, bang. It was just the whole new year I was so sick and it didn't take me till 2020 to get the official diagnosis. I have to get regular IV fluids in order to stay hydrated because I just can't tolerate water. Every time I have water it just comes up again. <laughs> Solid foods really make my stomach blow up like crazy and I get crazy looking, pregnant looking bloating. <laughs> I've been to the hospital so many times I can't even count. I sleep a lot, I don't have much energy, especially in flare ups, that's the worst. Although gastroparesis has changed my life dramatically, I try to keep a positive attitude. I like to hang out with my friends and I like to put a smile on my face, but at the same time be honest, which I'm learning to do. Pain, all you have is pain. Jody! Gastroparesis took a lot of things away from me, but now I'm learning to take those things back. I just have to learn how to take them back in a completely different way. Gastroparesis does not define me, and it's not who I am. I have so many things about me, and gastroparesis is just one of those things, and I'm not going to let it destroy my life. To so all my lovely GPs out there, we got this. Love you.